while we don't know the final tally of seats right now, it looks as if it is beyond any doubt that there will be a pro-independence majority in that Scottish Parliament. And by any normal standard of democracy, uh, that majority should have the commitment it made to the people of Scotland honoured. So for any Westminster politician who tries to stand in the way of that, I would say two things. Uh, firstly, you're not picking a fight with the SNP. You're picking a fight with the democratic wishes of the Scottish people. And secondly, you will not succeed. The only people who can decide the future of Scotland are the Scottish people, uh, and no Westminster politician can or should stand in the way of that. It's, it's for when the Scottish Parliament, when it decides, is right to make the preparations for an independence referendum. If Boris Johnson or whoever is Prime Minister at the time has any respect for Scottish democracy, they will come together with the Scottish Government, as happened in the run-up to 2014, and agree that transfer of power. Uh, and if they refuse to do that, then they will have to take the decision to legally challenge the ability of the Scottish Parliament to deliver on what the people of Scotland voted for. And the absurdity and outrageous nature of that, a Westminster government potentially going to court to overturn Scottish democracy. I can't think of a more powerful argument for Scottish independence than that one.